previously. Look what this deck can do! This oh, that, that never, <laughs> not, like, apparently not good enough. On progression series season two. Do you have a painful choice for the third I, game in a bro, row? I do. It's just glued I, to your I hand! Do. I don't oh know how I God. opened it. It's you see this guy here on the right of painful choice? That's how I feel right now. <laughs> just agony. Super rare. I actually do get scammed! Oh my god. In this series, both Nim Nim and myself will be opening 24 booster packs or one box of a core Yu-Gi-Oh! booster set. We will build a deck and play a best two out of three, and the winner will receive a small prize to upgrade their deck. However, in each episode, we will open another box of the next set that was released moving in chronological order, constantly upgrading our decks before dueling each other at the end of each episode. But this time around, we'll be introducing side sets a new banning system, and plenty of other fun surprises that you'll just have to watch to find out. This is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression Series Season 2. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code CMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. Well, here we are back again to the banning, ladies and gentlemen. I, I swear, I'm really trying out here. It, it just does not seem to be getting any easier, and uh, maybe my deck choices aren't exactly helping. So, we get to ban another card out of Gage's card pool, and I think I saw one last episode that I really want to take care of before it becomes problematic later, and that card is Dimension Fusion. That's a card that Gage has access to that I do not, and although it's like a sort of unsearchable one of, this, it's sort of like a Soul Charge-esque type card and that's banned for a reason. Reason. So I don't want to deal with that. I'm going to get it out of the card pool and uh, we have a lot to do today. So let's go ahead and throw it over to Gage so he can spin his wheel for winning last episode. We're on a four win streak against Alexander Simo. We have absolutely murked him these last few weeks. I'm looking to keep up that energy. Let's try to go for the five win streak. Alex found himself in the banning today, and he decided to get rid of Dimension Fusion. We were cooking up some forbidden goo with Synchro Fusionist to really mess up the format even further, but he decided to nip that in the bud right before we could even get it going. Not a problem, I've still got a strategy today that's absolutely going to cook him. But, again, huge potential for the wheel today. This time, if we win a wild card super or anything, it's actually for a core set so we can pick something good, but I'll take anything from the wheel. I'm going to give this a couple bazillion clicks here. Gonna give it the strongest spin known to man. Give me something banging, please. I guess. I, I, essentially, a refund from the one that we used on Duelist Revolution. I'll have another in the bank. I think I'm back to three redoer tickets. It is what it is. I would prefer anything else on the wheel, but um, no complaints. Huge set today, though. Star Strike Blast. I'll let Alex tell you all about it. I am livid from last episode. Last episode was so close and it came down to a battle of the bricks that I unfortunately lost. And so here we are once again in the loser circle. And today we are talking about Star Strike Blast released November 11th, 2010. This has been one of the most historically just prominent sets throughout Yu-Gi-Oh's history in the sense that initially on release, there were some good cards in the set, yes. But over time as Yu-Gi-Oh aged, there are several cards from the set that people have always gone back to to, that they've realized that, wow, this only had a printing in Star Strike Blast until it eventually got reprinted in like, you know, 10 years later. And so this is one of those sets that a lot of people have fond memories of because there's a lot of powerful cards in here. Although they might be a little bit niche, there is some cool stuff to talk about. Starting with the super rares here, I mean, we have like the Dragoonity introduction here. We have different dimension ground. The super, uh, even like Naturia cherries and stuff isn't like terrible. That's it for the super zoe. Uh, we'll always skip the ultimates like always. Even the rares, I mean, we have the Carter Curries, the first first introduction of these. So we have Inashichi, which is like a searcher. We have Formula Synchron in the rare slot as well. We have Gravekeeper's Recruiter, which unfortunately Gage banned Descendant, so we're not going to be seeing Gravekeepers this time around. Droll and Lockbird is another one. For the Short Prince, we have everyone's favorite card in Vanity's Emptiness. God, I'm not looking forward to seeing this in the progression series for uh, any amount of time whatsoever. And then moving down to the Secret Rares, Skullmeister was an incredibly prominent card and uh, still is from time to time. Cyblocker as well. We have more Dragoonity stuff in here. And going 
down to the commons. There's actually a lot of really powerful commons in here as well, like Swift Scarecrow. We have more Kara Curries, which a lot of them were actually surprisingly at common. We've got like Watt stuff, if you want to play like Watt Lock. Mirror of the Ice Barrier. I mean, the list just goes on and on. There's like a surprisingly high density of good cards all across the rarity spectrum in Star Strike Blast. And so hopefully we see some of those in our opening today. But before we do, we have to open our pity packs for losing the last episode. So three packs of Turbo Pack 3. Next episode, I believe, is Turbo Pack 4. Show me an ultimate Caius. Like, just give me a second Caius, please. That would be like the best case scenario. First pack isn't too great. I don't know if there's anything else I really want. That's like our 900th Coelacanth. This may round out our Kwaki Meru Drago playset, though, which I guess is not terrible. And Fall Troll's not the worst, although I don't think X Sabers are on the table. I guess I could double check. Last pack. Come on, Caius, 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 Caius. Uh, Rocky Guru, though, again, if we want to try to play X Sabers. I don't think our pool's good enough, though. So 24 packs of Star Strike Blast. Let's get cracking. I love this set. Star Strike Blast has a whole bunch of forbidden gems that we're really going to be keeping our eye out for here. Um, lots of cards and even the common slot, like Vanity's Emptiness. Are you kidding? One of the best cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! Definitely a lot of potential for Star Strike Blast. Excited to open 24 packs of it? Let's get lucky. Pack number one, off the rip, an ultimate rare. <laughs> we got Supreme Arcanite Magician. About a billion other things that's better in this set. This is a card that we will never be able to see any fruition with. But it is cool. It's cool. Mirror of the Ice Berry comes in handy for Necroz later on in the game. Watt Hopper and Dragonfly. Anybody know the Watt Hopper lock? Maybe something cool with Watts could happen. Tooting! Oh, man. Already a... Oh, God. Great opening so far. A tooting in the second pack. Ultimate and an Ultra Rare back-to-back. -back. And I don't think Chain Dog is too bad either. Not too shabby. We'll keep it moving. Vanity's Emptiness, happy to grab one of these. I'm pretty sure it's labeled as a short print in this set too, so uh, even out of all the comments we get, we maybe weren't even guaranteed to get one. A Merchant, I do love those car curries. I know some of the synchros are in a little bit higher rarity slot though. We'd have to get really lucky to get the uh, the Shogun Beret because he is an ultra ultimate rare in this set. Uh, but I love this I love this archetype so much. Sick archetype. Here's a card I'm keeping an eye out for is uh, Swift Scarecrow. Another great battle trap. I know there's a little bit of OTKs flying around here, but we don't have access to cards like Gores or Tregoetia, which were common battle traps back in the day. Maybe substituting that with a Swift Scarecrow might be a play? Who knows? Ooh, another ultimate rare. Uh, this one's not too great. Gaia Drake, the Universal Force. I think it looks pretty cool. Great looking card. I'm not playing Guy Knight, the Force of the Earth. I don't actually have a copy, so I don't think I could anyways. Oh, oh, big one. D2 Shield is like, okay, I think. I think this card's like actually not terrible. Oh, it's like, okay, no, it's pretty bad. Uh, but the big thing is Formula Synchron, a, a rare that's integral to so many Synchro strategies. This card does go to one, I think, in the future. So it's big that we got our one copy. I'm stoked. That's such a great card. Pretty good luck on all the hollows so far there, can we? We're only in pack number eight, not officially a third of the way through. Let's keep up this energy. All right, 24 packs of Star Strike Blast coming right up. I think a card I actually forgot to mention is a uh, Glow Up Bulb. It's in the ultimate rare slot, but uh, there's a good card I'm happy to see. Formula Synchron, allowing us to synchro on our opponent's turn. It draws us a card on synchro. Really nice card. Happy to have it for the collection. We did also get a super rare and dance princess, but honestly, this card's not really worth talking about. Ultimate rare Scrap Twin Dragon. Uh, don't think we're going to be using this. I think I'm more excited to see the uh, Nishipachi and uh, some of the other cards in here as well, but uh, nice little ultimate rare. There's an ultra rare. Unfortunately, man, I really want to play Karakuri. I really want to play Karakuri, but the problem is I think we need ultras in the form of Bure to be able to do that. I think Burrito comes out next set, I believe. I actually think I just completely skipped talking about the ultra rares in the uh, little set introduction here, but that's okay. Uh, Power Giant, eh, it's like a fine card. There's definitely worse ultras this could be. Droll and Lockbird, not a terrible rare either. I'd like to see a play set of this ideally just because it's one of the few good rares in the set and it's something that'll be good later on on when we're playing much stronger decks that we need to slow down. Nice little Inashichi in the rare slot there. Again, I don't really think Karakuri is viable just because the cards are way too hard to pull. But uh, I mean, if we do want any chance of playing this deck, we do need a play set of this. Droll and Lock Bird. One of the best hand traps in the game. Undisputed, bro. Completely unrealized in early Yu-Gi-Oh. This might be something we can utilize later on down the line. This does not get a proper reprint until like OTS pack way later too. So really nice to have it now. Another formula synchron. I'll take two of them. Very uh, short time that this is playable and more than one, but uh, I'll definitely take the copies while I can. Maybe we can make some absolute cheese with it. That's my third Vanity's Emptiness, which is not too shabby, I'll admit. Um, Kind of only wanted to have the one. It's not really playable at the moment. We're still at a point in Yu-Gi-Oh! where it's not like 
absurd. It is pretty nice, though, I will say. Nice to have it. Oh, well, asking you shall receive back to back Inoshichi. He's not going to complain. Oh, and there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Vanity's emptiness. I think this is our first one, as a matter of fact. And oh boy, this is going to make for such fun and interactive gameplay in the progression series. Thankfully, we actually have a decent amount of spell and trap removal. So, like, this isn't going to be the worst thing to deal with. It's still just an annoying as hell card. Haven't been talking that much. Uh, this is our third copy of Muzan Ichiha, unfortunately. So, uh, that could have been like our third of the other rare that we're looking for. I guess two is like, okay. We, we, we still need like the other Karakuri support anyway, but I, that's just unfortunate that we're getting three of the wrong rare. Hey, there's the Inishichi and paired with a super Dragoonini Knight Vajrayana. Uh, not a terrible one. I think Dragoonies are sadly not going to be that playable as much as some people would like uh, to prove me otherwise. Uh, I think this is just something that we're not going to get the full set of support for, uh, unfortunately. 18th Vanity's Emptiness. Thanks, game. That's great. Um, we got four more packs left. Anything big in the close here? Another Vanity's Emptiness. Wow, man. It's, it's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> Another Droll Unlocked. Actually, not terrible. We'll take that. That's actually a really good rare to pull. Oh, my lord! Glow up, Bulb! This could not get better. That's a great pull. That's an insanely good pull, bro. Two more packs left, too. What a great opening. Star Strike Blast has really treated me fantastically, dude. Different Dimension Ground! That's a great super rare, too! Okay, can I clean it up? Haymaker. Vadriano! Dude, this opening was sick! That is such a great card. That actually makes Hidden Arsenal 3, like, kind of a good set, because we can totally build Dragoonity. Whoa, this was crazy. This was nuts. What do we get? Let me, let me, let me, what do we get? Let me go over. Starting off strong with an Ultimate Rare Supreme. We got the Tuning, which is great. We got our Vanity's Emptiness. Two copies of Formula Synchron, which is great. Two copies of Droll and Lockbird, also great. A couple copies of Heat Wave might come in handy. Maybe there's something cheesy with that. Of course, the Glow Up Bulb. And Vadriana, Different Dimension Ground. What an insane opening today. Oh my lord. I'm gonna save this right away to the collection. Not a different thought in the world, dude. That's so crazy. Let's build. Do any of you remember when Power Sync Stone was one of those random cards that spiked in like price for like a common out of Star Strike Blast for like, it was like some absurd price for a card that was not very good. But I remember this card being hyped up at one point and it, it fell very quickly for good reason. All right, ladies and gentlemen, only a few packs left of Star Strike Blast. Uh, we've gotten like a decent core of like Karakuri stuff. We didn't get a glow up bulb. We haven't gotten like any of like the heavy hitters that I'm really looking for here. I'm not really sure if it's worth spending a redoer ticket because while like, yes, we could potentially get the stuff. I feel like there's just like sets that have like way higher upside than this. Lancer Archfiend for the rare there. Let's see what we get for the last pack here. Just glow up bulb, please. Oh, that sucks. Uh, another vanities though. I I think that rounds out our playset, so we should be good to go there. And uh, yeah, I mean, we'll just lock it. I, I don't think, like, yeah, we could try for something like a glow up bulb, I guess, but eh, it's not the end of the world. So we'll just save it to the collection and uh, let's see if we can get to building. You know, taking another gloss over of the set here, uh, Glow Up Bulb, I don't think it's a reprint until Legendary Collection 5Ds, which is four years from now. Obviously, it's a bit shorter in terms of the progression series timeline. And Bure never gets a reprint ever. I mean, it's in the, the tins in 2013, but we don't do tins in Prague. So if I want to try to play Kara Curry, this is going to be my only chance to actually do so. And this is going to be my only shot at glow up bulb for like the foreseeable future obviously there's a shot like months from now to get it again but glow up bulb is such a strong card just being a level one tuner that can resurrect itself you know what screw it let's let's reset we're gonna we're gonna go for 24 more packs i think we can do it all right 24 more packs let's uh get to crack in here i just want a glow up bulb that's the main thing i mean if we can break even on everything we got before that would also be nice oh we got the glow up bulb second pack all right it was worth it easy baby now if we can just get a copy of Bure as well, multiple copies would be preferred, but it's an ultra rare, so I'm not guaranteeing that. If we could get Bure, and if we can just get our uh, our Karakuri cards that we need, this will be the best reopening ever. But the fact that we respawn a glow up bulb immediately paid off. Second pack, let's go. Ghost Rare Shooting Star Dragon. I think we need Formula Synchron in order to even consider making this, but uh, it's a rare, so that's not impossible to pull. And uh, you know, maybe we could see some Shooting Star action. That'd be kind of sick. Different Dimension Ground as a super rare too. This is a nice side deck card to have, especially because we've been playing a lot of graveyard reliant decks lately, especially if we know we're going to be 
going first. This could really hose Gage, depending on, like, the type of deck that he's playing. So I'm happy to see this. This is one of the better super rares for sure. Man, our respin is really paying off. Secret rare Gen X Ally Axel. I don't even know if this card is playable, but uh, it's secret rare. I guess we didn't get any secret rares in our first set, so uh, not bad. A second shooting star dragon. What is this opening? <laughs> A third ghost rare shooting star dragon. This is rigged. This has to be rigged. There is no shot anyone has ever pulled triple ghost shooting star dragon in or triple ghost anything in any opening. Like, are you fucking kidding me? We're not even halfway through. We still have 20 or excuse me, 14 more packs. Ultimate rare power giant. Uh, you know, it could have been Bure, I guess, but uh, it's a power giant. I guess this card is like maybe playable, but I, I'm not. Honestly, I can't complain at this point. This opening has been nuts. Okay. Uh, this one isn't a ghost rare, but this is our fourth shooting star dragon. I don't even have a formula synchron and I have four shooting star dragons. Are you fucking kidding me this could have also been a beret as well not not to mention but God, i'm done okay you know what we just pulled the formula synchron so shooting star dragon is actually within our grasp at this point ladies and gentlemen we needed this otherwise there was zero chance that we could summon it i don't think we're going to be playing like a shooting star dragon turbo type deck but it would be very funny if we could pull it off it's something to consider for sure we got four packs left i I, like I said, I would like to see a Burrito, or not a Burrito, that's later. I'd like to see a Bure, but unfortunately, I think we've exhausted our luck when it comes to anything that's above a rare. Uh, I shouldn't say that, because it's, every time I seem to think that, it seems to prove... I guess we haven't exhausted our luck, ladies and gentlemen. Red Nova Dragon. Unfortunately, this is another ultra rare that is not a Bure, but uh, it's another ultra rare nonetheless. This has been absurd. This is ridiculous. Uh, second to last pack. All right. I, I, the only way this, this, this could be any better is if this 24th pack is a Bure. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say for a second, I was like, no shot, but Gravekeeper's Recruiter, uh, completely worthless to us because it's not worthless, but like without Descendant, is Gravekeeper really that good? I doubt it. Eh, Necro Valley is looking pretty good against Gage's deck. So, okay, we're saving this 100%. The respin was 100% worth it because we pulled the glow up bulb. That's really exciting, ladies and gentlemen. Now I am infinitely more excited to get to deck building. Let's get into it. I'm going to be straight up honest. This isn't the most optimal choice for this week, but it is going to be the most enjoyable to watch for you guys. I I had a sub incentive on stream to build Skull Servant, and with the new release of White Mare and Star Strike Blast, I said, "Why not?" We only pulled one of them. Super unfortunate, but I still think we can make some kind of deck around the Skull Servants here. Maybe get King of Skull Servants up to like 4,000-ish attack, make it unaffected by spells, traps, and undestroyable by battle, and just start topping over Alex. I would have loved to pull more White Mares because I think this card is really good for recursion, but we're gonna play with the one. We're just gonna hope it works. I know it seems like I'm punting. I'm four wins in and it feels like I'm giving Alex a win so he doesn't ban anything. I promise that's not what it is. I definitely just actually got the sub incentive for this. And I figured it'd be fun to try. It was something that's been on the radar for a minute. And I figured with some of the most broken cards we have in the game, like Painful Choice, still available to us, why not give it a shot? Worst comes to worst, if we get our teeth kicked in round one and we really feel like this isn't in the wave, we can uh, smoke screen into a Welladad type list here. Tons of easy things to be able to plug and play just to make the deck instantly better. This is definitely a fun choice. I'm hoping it pays off well. Maybe it'll throw Alex off guard and he just doesn't know how the deck plays. Could be a free win. Also, could definitely be a way that we absolutely lose our win streak this week. Let's see what Alex is on. Is this the best deck I could be playing this week? Probably not. Is this the most base deck I could be playing this week? Absolutely. There were several people that hit me up to play some concoction similar to this. I took inspiration from this from a uh, good old Carpath, one of the Edison enthusiasts. It's not the same deck. Trust me. Don't look up the deck profile for this because you're going to say, Simo, you're missing about nine cards and they're all very important for this deck and you're not wrong. But at the same time, there's a lot of crazy shit we can still do with this deck. And so I figure why not? Let's give it a shot. The other deck I was going to play is relatively boring, all things considered. And so I figured, you know what? We we pulled glow up bulb let's have a bit of fun so introducing dark quick draw i guess you can call it that we're not playing uh, any dandelions because we don't have them and that kind of defeats the whole purpose of the deck but we'll do our best so let's do the card by card uh we're playing a dark deck so of course we have armor knight we have a decent amount of light so bls is a bomb kais is another bomb as well card trooper we want to mill like half the cards in our deck so that's why this is here in tandem with stuff like Ryko. cyber valley is a nice little card we can pair this with any of our like control switching cards so like sack stuff up to draw cards it's a level one it's like a battle 
Stopper. It's like I got a few niche little interactions here. DD Warrior Lady is another thing we can search off of our Rota since we already have a few warriors in here. Dad's another bomb. Dark Refer is another good Dark. Dasher and Malicious. So Dasher is a nice thing we can send off of Painful Choice, but also like not the worst thing either. There's ways to get rid of this. Mally's just in here because it's Mally. Infernal Prodigy is probably not the best, but it's a nice way to easily tribute summon Dasher or Mally if we need it. But Prodigy is also good because it gives us a draw off of that in the meantime. It's like a baby Cyber Dragon, but like infinitely worse. We have Glow Bulb. We have Jinzo as another bomb as well. Level Eater, Magical Scientist, Necro Gardener, Plague Spreader, Double Quick Draw, Double Raikou, and Sangam. The spells are Double Book of Moon, Brain Control, True Nade, Harpy's Feather Duster, Mind Control, Double MST. This card is now semi-limited courtesy of the new ban list. I think it's like September ban list, October, November. I have no fucking clue. In any case, MST is a two. One for one has a few good targets. We can go for a Tuner and Glow Bulb. We can go for Scientist. And if we need Level Eater, I guess we could technically grab that as well. Painful Choice, Pot Agreed, Premat, Regeki, Rhoda, Snatch Deal, and only two traps, Ring of Destruction and Torrential. We don't really need too much in here because we're trying to just pull off a bunch of crazy combo shit. Then for the extra deck, for the Scientist, we have Darkfire Dragon, Giltia, and Thousand Eyes. And then we have an Ally of Justice Cataster, a Black Rose, a Brio. We are playing it. We are playing the Formula Synchron and the Shooting Star Dragon because there's actually several ways we can get here. Getting to Stardust is not the problem. Getting to Formula is because we need exactly Glow Up Bulb, and then we have to use either Level Eater or Scientist in order to get there. It's not impossible, especially if we like Steel Gauges stuff too. It might be even easier than that. But uh, I threw it in here. And honestly, if I summon Shooting Star Dragon, I'm going to be the hero of this episode regardless of if I win or lose. We have Junk Warrior. We have Magical Android, Mist Storm, Nitro Warrior, Red Dragon, Archfiend, the Shooting Star, Stardust, and Turbo Warrior. The side is just Triple DD Crow, Triple Kaiku, a book, Dark Hole, Different Dimension Ground figure. We throw this in since Gage has been on a lot of graveyard-based decks. Triple Dust and Triple Mask of Restrict. I'm looking at this. I think I actually might put in a Pulling the Rug instead. I think I like that card a little bit better. So let's go ahead and put those there. Save the deck and we are game. So guys, I can't wait to see what Gage brought to the table. Hopefully this deck's good enough to beat him, but uh, honestly, I don't have a fucking clue what I'm doing. I think this is just a fun deck to play for today. So ladies and gentlemen, let's not make you wait any longer. It's time to duel. Gage, Star Strike Blast. I know this is a set that you and I both love, and uh, a lot of really good cards in the set from all ends of the rarity spectrum. How are you feeling? Oh, it's an amazing set, dude. One of the most iconic yeah. sets from when I started playing the game. I always remember the yellow box sitting in a card yep. shop, and I always wanted it. And it's a set that aged tremendously well. Like you said, from commons all the way to secret rares, cards that have just been playable all throughout Yu-Gi-Oh's history. Some of the best cards in Yu-Gi-Oh's history have lied within this box. Yeah, another yellow set, just like Cyber Dark Impact. I guess the yellow sets age like fine wine, not all of them. But uh, yeah, I, I can say I actually used a redoer ticket for this episode. Oh. And uh, I, I will say it was more than generous to me on the rollback. So I'll give you a little hint for later. So uh, okay. we'll, we'll, let's just get into it, buddy. I know you and I are itching to, itching to get into the game here. Shout out to Patreon Phoenix Tarantino. Thank you for the support and gauge. Let's see how rock, paper, scissors go. Fares oh, well for me. <laughs> Fares well for me. I feel like I haven't won rock paper scissors I feel in like, like five months you know what you can retire the dice if you want to next week but I'll take my dub I may as week. well I'm gonna go second yeah. again take the free card it seems to have been working out these last four episodes see how it does again yeah I, I, I bet it's it's going great for you over there huh I'm just gonna tease set and pass Man, <laughs> I know you wish you thought that was good enough to keep you alive bro if you drop painful choice <laughs> I <so> stop <laughs> Stop! Hey, Alex, that's four games in a row if we count last week that I've opened Painful Choice. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I'm just going to No, no go, go ahead. Don't do that because I ahead. promise it, last week was so potent that you would have just auto lost the game. This one, Alex, I'm not so sure. Let's see, let's see how it works out. Let me show you what I'm working with, okay? I, sw I swear, if you... <laughs> I'm so tilted right now. That's fine. <laughs> let's see here. Okay. All right. So, Alex, this this is the surprise here. You ready? I'm going uh, to send uh, Lady in White. I'm going to send... Gage. La come Gage. on. Come on, bro. Let me finish my sense here. I'm going to send <laughs> Lady in White. Did Olympio <laughs> pill you on this? Like, really? That would be the one guy to, right? I'll go Plague Spreader Zombie. I will go... Unbelievable. Uh, one, two, three. Wasn't White Mare in this set? White Mare was in this set. That's going to be one of them. Okay. Give me a minute. White okay. man. Well, Gage is picking his uh, fifth card here. Apologies if the images have some trouble loading. Dueling Book's been uh, on the fritz. The oh, past it has few been. Days we've here. we've been itching to play each other. You know, Alex has been deck building for the last few days, but this is this is what I've been working on. <laughs> Skull Servants, yeah. bro. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, the fifth the fifth card. Um, I'm gonna make it 
one of the kings of skull sermons here. Okay. See, now the pressure's on me, because like, if I lose to this garbage, I'm never going to hear the end of it. Okay. Um, well, I mean, you've given me such spectacular choices here. This fits right at home, too, because you have, like, so many good zombie cards. This mm -hmm. is nice. Uh, let's give you... I guess I'll just give you lady in white. Okay, I'll take the lady in white. I don't really want to give you plague or king or white mare because it's too easy for you to like get king back. So I feel like, I mean, she's big, but- They're pretty good cards. I'm like, yeah, I don't know. I, I think you're, you're all right. Pretty sufficient choice. All right, I'll follow it up with pot of greed because I'm like, you know, that good at the game. Um, <laughs> I was just destined to do this. All right, yeah, go, go how on, you go you on. A good time there? <laughs> I'm having a fantastic time. I'm glad that I waited three days for, for painful choice pot of greed game <laughs> one against Skull Servants. Anyway, go continue. continue. All right. You want a card destruction me no, while you're no, at it? No, not that lucky. I'll start with Armageddon Knight. Sure, you're going to dump another Skull gonna, Servant? I'm going to do guess. something with the get in here. I'm going to dump a, uh, yeah, I'll bin, a, I'll bin another king here. Yeah, of course you are. Yeah, get him out right, of here. Cool. All right, I'm just gonna go tussle, bro. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna fucking fight you. I'm gonna go plague spreader zombie <laughs> here. I'm gonna stack. You're going all in. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put this one on top of deck, and we'll bring okay. back the plague. Sure. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna synchro. Are you just like trying to go for the kill? I don't know if I have the kill, but I I, I think it's just too irresistible to do this kind of play. Okay, I'm gonna book the brio. Oh, we don't have priority. No. We don't have Pryo. Oh. No, no Pryo for the Bryo. No, no Pryo set him down. <laughs> for the Bryo. All right, he's set. And then uh, I'll follow it up with a back row of my own. Um, already normal okay. summoned. Graveyard's looking yeah, loaded. Did. I'll just pass it to you, my man. Yeah, plenty of Skull Servants in there, unfortunately. Uh, standby phase nope, anything. You're good. Main one. Is there any universe? I don't even know what your deck plays. I, I got to be honest. I tell you, it plays a lot of Skull Servants or cards. I, I bet it does. <laughs> I, I bet it does. Thank you for that. Uh, okay, whatever. Mind control. Yep, you can have my Brio. Okay, uh, let's think how we want to do this. I'll flip your Brio. Sure. Uh, it's cool, but I don't think it's cool enough. Uh, Gage, let's go ahead and uh, reveal a new card that we pulled this episode. I'll flip summon Glow Up Bowl. Great card! Outstanding card! Yes, okay, that's, fantastic. that's a fantastic, fantastic Yu-Gi-Oh card. It is. <laughs> is this followed up with you using your back row or something? It's not, no, or? that's that's. Oh, I, you I, you you sounded very excited. I thought you were milking it. No, up. Okay. I was just thought, that's a great card. That's a good pull. It is. It is. I'm not. I'm not complaining. Uh, let's go ahead and just get rid of these two. Okay. And we're just gonna make. Not a lot of good sevens, right? Uh, <laughs> no. And looking at my extra deck, it's uh. Black Rose exactly. for no effect. Yeah, you got it, man. I, I'm considering it, honestly. That's the sad part. Yeah, Black Rose for no effect. Yep, You're right. That's fine. Yep. <laughs> it's got to get rid of it. Uh, what's Bulb? Sure. Okay. Didn't need that anyway. Uh, we'll bring him out. All right. On the summon, I've got... Uh, relax. I, I've, I've got to beat Stardust Sorry. Dragon, so I have to Torrential. Okay. Uh, you didn't have anything prior, so I'm like, ah, maybe I'll Torrential on the flip of the Bulb, but it makes sense. Just make me waste the Bulb. Uh, effect totally cool uh four in hand huh mm -hmm. still have to deal with every other crazy thing that you might be able to throw at me i'm honestly scared that i just get decked with a king it's concerning Let's just go pre-map okay yeah what do you want to bring back uh we'll bring the black rose back okay. it was actually successfully summoned we'll just deck you for 24 uh i'm chilling okay, good we'll draw oh i do know i didn't know what that was okay <laughs> i was like oh man i feel like i saw that card before <laughs> <laughs> Stacked it with the plague yeah, spreader. That's right. One lady in white and four other cards. That is correct. I'll just set a card and pass. Go ahead. Setting the lady potentially. Uh, you're also on zombies, so it could just be like literally anything. At this point. Uh, we'll hit it. It is Mizuki. Mizuki. That's actually terrifying. It is. It's really strong. Uh, <laughs> it is quite good. Second main. I'll chuck one down. Throw okay, it. I will drop. Stand by main. Okay. I mean, I'm going to summon Lady in White. Uh, Sure. Response to that. Okay. Uh, I'm going to activate Mizuki. I'm going to target the King of the Skull Servants. Sure. Okay. So he 3, is 3,000. Not too big, but big 3, enough. 3,000. I will go to battle phase, and I will attack over your Black Rose Dragon. 
Take six here. Okay, and then I'll attack you for zero. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go main phase two. I'll set a card, and I will uh, pass the turn to you, duels. Okay. Uh, we'll just space it in end okay. phase. Okay. Uh, it's ring. Ring. Woo! That was a nice one off the top. Yeah, we needed right, that. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, not too bad either, if I do say so myself. Uh, we're going to go set one, set two. Chuck it back. Okay. I will draw. Stand by main. Yep. Okay, uh, I will normal summon Sangin. Pretty good. I'll move the Lady in White to defense, and I'll get the battle. Sure. Um, Probably like a Raikou. I mean, I feel like it said anything at this point, not to get decked for 3k. That's true. Uh, I'm just wondering what I beat, uh, just by straight battle. I don't know if there's a lot. I don't beat Goblin Zombie. Um, screw it, give me a peek. Uh, you called it. It's Raikou. Okay, what do you want to pop? Uh, we'll take out the skull because I believe he has to come back by battle. He does. Destroyed by battle right. specifically. Cool. And we'll mill three. Okay. Wow. Those are three <laughs> good ones. <laughs> right. Wow. I bet you would have wished to draw those, huh? Uh, honestly, I'm kind of happy I didn't draw dad considering I have uh, no darts. Right, I'll clock you for a thousand there. You attacked with Sangin. Did I? I did. Oh, fuck. You okay, did. that's right. Um, That's unfortunate. I will just uh, end the turn. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, we'll draw. And... Uh... Uh, we'll set and pass. Go ahead. Exciting. I'll draw. Stand by main. Yep. Literally the best draw in the deck. I will summon another King of the Skull Servants. That is actually the best thing in the deck. Yes. Uh, thinking here. Okay. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. Yep. Pretty good when Lady in the White's on the field, too. It's a, I, it definitely yeah. doesn't feel... I gave it to you, too, so yeah. like that's my own fault. Battle phase. So he's 4,000 now. I believe so. Slightly One, two, three, yep. four. Yep, 4,000. So we'll go 1,000 and then 4,000. You've already taken it. Take them both. Uh, main two, I'll just pass it to you, bud. Happy rings out of the picture for all the good it's going to do me here. Uh, main one. That might just get me out of this. Uh, I lied. I okay. <laughs> I was going to be like, I thought I've worked so hard for this king. This guy's crushing it right now. Uh, no. You got it. Let's go. King of the Skull Fucking Servants. Lady, lady in white. I shouldn't have given Crazy. it to you. That was my mistake. Awesome, bro. Okay, all right. Oh, my God. I'm also, like, kind of tilted for a reason I don't want to reveal right now, but there's, there's something that I could have done differently in the last game without... I didn't. It, I didn't have complete information, so I, I kind of made like a read, and I got punished for my read. So uh, yeah, and we lost. I don't know if we lost because of it, but it didn't put us in exactly in an advantageous position. So, best of luck, buddy. Uh, let's see what you got. All right, duelist. Let's see how you do here. I'll go stand if you by open, in the main. If, I, if I, I, no, I, okay, I, I would <laughs> slam it down right away. I swear <laughs> to God, if I had that card, but I don't. So. <laughs> okay, you're not getting I, slow. Rolled. I don't That's have good. it. Don't worry. <laughs> Jesus, the streak ends. The end of an era. I'm just going to throw down a face down, and I'm just going to pass my turn. Go ahead, bud. We'll draw. Uh, what is it? Lady. You've got Goblin Zombie. If you're on Zombies, I mean, it's not unrealistic to think that you have, like, Pyramid Turtle as well. I'll just chuck one down and pass. Hey, all right. Good enough for me. I'll draw. Standby main. I'm going <clears> to <throat> normal summon Krebens. Krebens. Yeah, you're good. Okay, I'll flip up Pyramid Turtle. And I'll Torrential here. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Probably could have played around it, but yeah, that sucks. That fucking blows. All right, your move. Ooh, empty board, huh? That's pretty good for this Kaiku to go. Oh, in. fuck. Oh, no. Get him coup. out of here. Oh, my God. I feel like an idiot. All right. All right. We'll set one and pass. That's the break we need. Feeling good now. Stand by main. Uh, yep, what do you got? I'll just pass. Go ahead. Nothing. I'm not okay. afraid you can kill me, bro. Your deck's been chugging along since. That's true. Since That's true. Episode. I don't think I'm killing you anytime soon, but I got a card trooper. Hey, he's pretty so. good. Yep. I can right. get some damage in for see sure. These mills. Okay, let's, let's mill three. Let's see what we get. Oh, oh, okay. oh my god. Not malicious. Bad. All right. Let's go 18, 19. Yeah, I'll take them both. No problem. Okay. Uh, probably just waiting to get cleaned up by Regeki here, but that's fine because I have trooper. Uh, I'll pass. Go ahead. Okay, I will drop. Stand by main. All right. I'll just Regeki here. I figured I'll use Card Trooper and draw myself a fresh new card. You will. Yep, one freebie. I'll set a card, and I will pass my turn. Setting and passing? Uh-oh. That's not too good for you, Gage. Uh, I'll draw. Uh, let's just drop the boy. <laughs> yep, all right. 
Yeah, you Pop got it. yeah, you got this one. Gee. Okay. <laughs> See, it's like when the deck works, it works. <laughs> yeah. But we have to actually get there first. Damn, All right, game three. Tough one. Okay. <laughs> Definitely one of the quickest games of the season, dude. That one was <laughs> A couple turns, set pass. All right, you're dead now. So, <laughs> yeah. right. I didn't feel like you didn't have a lot going on that game, no. unless your hand was just bricked with like a bunch of skull serving didn't, cards. As that far do as nothing. you know, didn't have a lot going on. But I'm feeling okay this last game here. I'll select to go second, as per usual. Set up your best defenses, okay. bro. Can I see painful choice? I mean, that would be pretty nice. Uh, oh, thank <laughs> you very much. It's only fair yeah. after five goddamn yeah, games. It was four, sorry. Fair. Not going right. to get ahead of myself. All right. <laughs> Let's get to dumping here. I'm going to go ahead and dump Plague Spreader Zombie. We're going to dump Necro Gardener. We're going to dump Glow Up Bulb. We're going to dump Destiny Hero Dasher. And we're going to dump... Who do we want for our fifth little one to be here? Uh, let's dump ourselves a copy of good old Destiny Hero Malicious. Take good your pick, buddy. God, bro. These are some good ones, aren't That's they? That's a... <laughs> I don't envy your position. I think I have to give you malicious here. That doesn't feel I know. Good. If you have Greffer, I'm getting crushed. <laughs> I'm getting I'm getting thrown into the pwn zone. I don't let's see here. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna give you malicious. Malicious to hand, I'll take him. And uh you call this oh, one. We'll, uh, we'll bring him out. Thank you so no much. Appreciate that. All the free way. value there. Oh my god. Yeah. All Not right. bad, That's right? Pretty Not good. bad. <laughs> uh, problem is, I'll put him in attack. I don't even exactly know what I'm gonna do with my Greffer. Uh, Holy smokes! <laughs> oh my god. Let's see. Just trying to think like what I want to end on. I could just do nothing. See what you do first. That's not exciting. You might want to be careful, dude. You could be dead the next turn, too. I mean, it's possible with the deck you're playing. You have your own painful choice. You just dump five Skull Servants and just clock me with a king. It's not unrealistic to happen. I feel like taking it easy, to be honest. Uh, I'm going to Rota. Sure. Oh, I'm going to grab a DD Warrior. You had the Rota to get to Greffer anyways. Right. I had Rota to get to Greffer anyway, yep. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to... Man, I really want to. There's just, like, so many ways it could go... Early. I'm just going to pass. I'm not in a rush. Okay. All right. I'll draw. Stand by main. I need a minute to think now. You trying to find lethal? I've got some lines, I think. I've got some lines. Okay. Okay. I'm going to start with Rota. Sure. Nice start. I'm grab an Armageddon Knight, I imagine. Mm -hmm. That's the only target in the deck. But I'm taking a gander <laughs> at the rest of my deck to, to see, see what else I can do. Give me a second. <laughs> Uh, all right, yeah, okay, we'll pick up the armor knight. Now, give me, give me just sure. a sec. I need to, I need to figure this out. This could be huge. That's like, okay, while you're thinking, I feel like that's one of the problems with our series is that we have so many powerful reactive cards compared to like season one, where we have to like take into account how quickly the game can. For swing. sure, yeah, I think the game can. It's definitely gonna go hard here. Like, I'm wondering if I can kill you. Let me see. Let me, let me calculate. Um. I don't think it's a line for a game, which is unfortunate. It's a, it's a. You're going deep in the I'm, tank, I'm really though. It deep sounds in the like because I've got moves. I got schmoves for you, bro. I'm just trying to figure <laughs> out what's the most uh, ideal way to use them. I'm trying to think like, because on the crackback, bro, you just go brio and like smoke me. So I'm trying to figure out like how do I not like <laughs> lose to brio? And I don't, I don't think there's, there's I don't think there's a way. I'm, <laughs> I don't. Brio, Brio has been such a transformative card in our series. It's been unbelievable yeah, how I, good that card is. Like, Goyo was good in Prague Season 1. Don't get me wrong. But Brio? Yeah, I just, oh, my God. I really this card's been nuts. I beat this card. Um, wow. Okay. Well, I think I lose on the crackback, no matter what I do here. I'm really just, I'm really just curious how I live a turn here. All right. I will um, I'll normal summon Pyramid Turtle. Sure. I will go Battle Phase. I'll crash my Pyramid Turtle for 500. Sure, it's fine. Off of the turtle, I'll grab Mizuki, and I will crash the Mizuki into your Dark Greffer. Does this summon in defense? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Yep, I'm going to do that. Is that okay? Thinking. Do I care about that? What do you do? Mizuki back the Pyramid Turtle to try and not die? 
Oh, you seem worried about it. I'll necro guard okay. this, sure. Mean two. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go one for one, and I'll pitch crab buns. Okay. You weren't kidding well, when you I said you had moves. Yes, it's just none of them really amount to much. Um, definitely an incredibly rough spot you have me in right here. Uh, I will go for glow up bulb. I did get you got my your own, own bulb. bulb. He's kind of nice, isn't he? Pretty good card. I mean, you I had did, season yeah. one, so I mean, it's just yep, returning yep. for you. Um, it did you good. Right, so here's did you good. I just go Cataster, and I bring back the Mizuki, and I get Brioed for everything the next turn. So it just doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. <laughs> I'll set pass. Go ahead. Please be merciful. Okay. Uh, we'll draw. Stand by main. Now I gotta think. I think you having a back row complicates things just a bit. Uh, okay. Let's uh, see what happens, I guess. We'll go yep. plague. We'll put this card on top. Uh, we'll sink him off. Uh, this gets banished. Excuse me. Go for Brio. Nothing what do you got? Brionic. Nothing. Okay. Uh, let's go Brio effect. Back Bounce row? the back row. Sure. Yeah. That's what I'm most concerned with here. Okay. Uh, now we can play yep. freely. We'll go Mally. Let's get the other Mally. Thank God I didn't draw it. I guess I'd dash her if I did, but it's fine. We'll go Bulb sure. effect. Okay, Not too bad. Let's go these two, like a black rose for no sure, effect. Yeah. Oh, you dickhead. Oh, my. Fuck this game, bro. I thought I had a chance. Yep, yeah, okay. So we'll, we'll go Brio here. Okay. Uh, BLS for the damage, so 13 plus 3,000. And then 24. I'm still alive, but this is where you ring a destruction me. <laughs> Would you like to start your turn? <laughs> Man, dude, don't bring a destruction <laughs> me. I win the game if you don't bring a destruction me. Uh, <laughs> ah, no, no. Uh, you did this to me last episode, or like I two did, episodes ago. But it wasn't so you the have game no right free. to complain. It wasn't the game free where it all mattered. I have double space in my hand now, too. Double space. Oh, that's rough. Um, okay. Man, I can not, see with you having no back row. That's crazy. The BLS really did win you there. I, I was like, oh, man... Because I have Regeki, too. I held it. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no, that yeah, last so hand was challenging, bro. So I don't know if you know. It, actually, what happened is I ended up smoke screening out of the Skull Servants game two and three. And just and into then, regular, like, yeah, Welladad. Yeah, like, like Welladad, yeah. And, um, sure. Yeah, it just didn't pan out. This last game was tough. This is the last game was a really tough one, I think. But, sure. Yeah. No, yeah. Um, didn't, wasn't able to clutch it. Yeah, like, just looking at the painful choice, I figured, like, I have Necro Gardener, so there's basically no chance you kill me unless you're playing, like, Kaiku or DD Crow of your own, which you might be. I don't know. Uh, so, like, that was the only way I figured I was dying because, uh, like, you'd have to get 8,000 through a Gardener, which is just, like, really hard to do. So that's why I figured I would just pass because the hand was BLS. The card I stacked was a Kaiku as well. Uh, oh, I shuffled from Mali. That's right. Um, so I had a Kaiku, too. So I was thinking, like, okay, if the back row does anything... There is a world where I could just Kaiku banish your uh, Pyramid Turtle and your Krebons, and your Mizuki's basically dead at that point. Or actually, I kill your Bulb first, then uh, Kaiku, banish your Bulb as well, so then that's offline too. Uh, so I was trying to think of, like, worst-case scenario if, like, the Brio failed, like, what the fallback plan would be. Uh, but I figured I just had to go for it, because Brio pitched the light that I search off Rota for BLS is just too good. Man, uh, so <laughs> how did you decide on Skull Servants? Is this a uh, I wish I was dead? Uh, yeah, <laughs> it was, but it was a, it was a, a sub incentive for stream too. I said if I hit this certain amount of subscriptions, I'll play the Skull Servants because we have okay. White Mare released, and I had a pretty good pull anyways. I was like, I'll make it work. And did it you did... pull like three White Mares? No, I pulled one White Mare. Oh, okay. But, okay. Uh, I think it's a short print actually. It is, yeah. So I got like yeah. eighteen thousand vanities emptiness, which is great, of course, right? but I typical. only got one White yeah. Mare. I don't yeah. know. I, I used it as a gimmick, and then just kind of smoke screened out into a better deck and uh, was hoping to kind of win the game two and the game three there. That's fair. But, it's uh, funny that the Skull Servants were what won you the game. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I thought as soon as you cleared the king the first time there, I was like, I, top deck and the other one was the only reason I won that game. I was like, I'm done here. Like, you walked through Mizuki and stuff. I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. So, so what was embarrassing was I thought your Torrential game one was like a book. So I had Jinzo in my hand. So I could have sacked for Jinzo uh, yeah. over my bulb and then brought the bulb back to sync. But I figure like if it's book... Then, like, I'm just going to get hosed because then you flip Brio back up and then just attack the Jinzo or bounce the Jinzo. Then I'm screwed. So uh, I, I made the wrong read, and then the Jinzo was just sitting in my hand the whole time. <laughs>
<laughs> so like, this is pretty bad, but uh, yeah, I'm playing like this just like crazy concoction of just like all these ridiculously good Edison cards just like in one deck. Uh, I was playing Quick Draw Synchron initially as well. I know like there's no dandy or anything, but I have so many good things to pitch now between Glow Up Bulb, Necro Garden, a Dasher, Mally. Uh, this is actually a deck that uh, Carpath, one of the uh, uh, known Edison players made. It's called Dark uh, Quick Draw, oh, yeah. as a matter of fact. And I thought the concept was really neat. So I, I took inspiration from that. And a few other people were sending me lists like, hey, you should play something like this. So I'm like, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll give it a shot. And and uh, it, was, it was cool. It does a lot of like really stupid things that uh, I ended up signing out the quick draws for the Kaikus because I needed Kaiku a little bit more. <laughs> but oh uh, yeah, I didn't get to show off. I, I can show off uh, my Ghost Rare start, uh, Shooting Star Dragon Whoa, that I pulled. <laughs> but fancy. Gage, I didn't pull just one Shooting Star Dragon. I didn't pull two Shooting Star Dragon. I didn't pull three Shooting what Star Dragon. Hell? I pulled... Four shooting star dragons in my uh in in my uh respin of Star Strike. <laughs> Someone's very lucky, man. Did you get all the rarities under the sun, the ultra ultimate and the ghost? No, I got three ghosts making three it the best box of ghosts! Star Strike Black. <laughs> <laughs> two ghosts back to back and then the third one was like two packs after Holy and then hell. like right at the end i pulled an ultra one as well which i'm like this is this has to be the greatest box of star strike blast anyone's ever opened oh uh and the glow up bulb and a card that i actually side decked against you different dimension i got myself well. one of those two actually i ended up pretty good with star strike blast too lots of hollows this time around for both of us yeah i didn't have to yeah. reroll but i got some crazy stuff bro i got a tuning I got nice. two That's a very good card. Bird, which is really good. Okay. I got myself okay. my own glow up ball, like you saw. I did get a different dimension ground. Something I'm very excited about is I got a Dragoonity Vadriana. Oh, okay. And, okay. And I also got uh, I also, two Formula Synchron. I, I got one or two Formula Synchrons as well. I There is a chance in my deck I can summon Shooting Star because since I'm playing Bulb, I also have Magical Scientist and I sided out Level Eater. That was my uh, old target for uh, Painful Choice, but I sided that out when I needed more space. Uh, so you can go like Bulb plus uh, Scientist or uh, Level Eater for the formula and then making Stardust obviously isn't that hard for either of our decks to do. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to run it and try it. And if it comes up, I'll make it. And uh, it just never came up, unfortunately. Shock right who'd have thought <laughs> but it seems like we did pretty good from star strike blast how how was the how was your wheel you're, you're being ominously quiet over there I, I think you've come to realize when i'm quiet it's just that i don't get anything good i uh i got yeah. a redoer ticket again so refund from oh, that's not revolution bad. that i ended up using but uh, yeah again lower end of what i want to get you know i won four games in a row and i i end up getting nothing too significant on the wheel and you know yeah. when you spin the wheel next week you're gonna get a starlight it's all gonna be all right it's all gonna be fine it's <laughs> we'll see we'll see anything's possible but uh it's fun that we still have like some crazy concoctions of decks that uh that we can both bring to the table even even though like the card pool keeps evolving and even though we keep banning stuff i, I don't envy sam having to put all those banned cards on the uh the the beginning of each video now but uh, yeah, it, it's fun seeing what we come up with each week, and I can't wait to see what happens next week. So guys, that's gonna wrap it up for another video. I really hope you all enjoyed. Let's go ahead and shout the patrons for all of their continued support. So shout out to Shout1317, Tim00x3, MBT Play Medulce, Moto, Cameron Smith, Pony Stark, The Synchro Guy, Phoenix the Immortal, Dan the Man Hoban, Richard Enormous, Draconic, Jordan Coons, Jesse Wood, Valen Jackson, Chris Hood, Little Fade Leaf, Dylan Hunter, Cody Bretz, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Carlos DT, Flannel Daddy, Immune Taisho, Thanks for the Sleeves Dad, Max, Twinkle Muncher, Matthew Brady, Dalton, Lubon, Yodabon. I've tried reading cards before. It was horrible, and my guinea pigs had to get me therapy. Helios 515, CMOS Chaos Cooking Draft, Cheeks McLapperty, Stolfin Amethyst, Wonder Waffle, MBT Cancel Bio Community Soon, Cancel Bio Committee Soon, Cancel Bio Players Soon, Shrugzix, The Crystal Beast Enthusiast, Corvain, and Grey9. Thank you so much for watching the video, and we will see you next time.